is that our intelligence community and our FBI um, are so sensitive to our First Amendment and to their getting involved in our internal political electoral um, debates that um, they, they can pay attention to the hacking and stealing, they can see that, they can realize there are things that they need to do about that, they need to get up to speed on, but when it comes to spreading disinformation, that starts to feel to them like um, activity that they maybe have no business being involved with, because if they get involved, there are First Amendment issues, um, it's in getting involved in a political debate, and so, that was how I kind of read the discomfort of Mueller yesterday a little bit. And I could be completely wrong, but I, but I think the whole issue of disinformation, I don't think that our FBI and our intelligence community are gonna save us on the disinformation front. Um, I think they're gonna do a lot more on cybersecurity and they just stood up um, a whole new uh, coordinating on, you know, are the are foreigners going to uh, try to um, exploit cybersecurity vulnerabilities and so on. I think they're going to do that. But I think when it comes to hardening our systems, our information ecosystem against disinformation, we're going to think, have to think about like just domestic good housekeeping of the kinds of things that Steve was talking about. We're going to need to think about radical transparency when it comes to political ads, which is something, you know, that should have no First Amendment issues. As Steve well knows, you know, Scalia thought transparency in political ads was a good idea. I think there's more that we can do even than what Facebook is doing, um, but we've got to do a lot more on that. I think we can do a lot more in terms of a bunch of other transparency issues. Again, we have to save our local news system so people know where to get news. But I think there's some like really boring, basic, good housekeeping things we need to do to safeguard and harden our information ecosystem. I just don't think that our intelligence community feels like they can go too far down that line without running into some real First Amendment and getting involved in politics dangers.